Hello, I'm in a school, and welcome to ATMS Today. I'm your host, Bowden Lucier. Today, we'll be bringing you in info on the Science Fair Club. Ask what you were for Halloween and f another Fun Fact Friday. First up, here is Mr. Keller with today's announcements. Thank you, Bodie. Attention guitar and bass players. There will be a brief 15-minute informational meeting about the Guitar Club today in Mr. Cheney's classroom, room 224. If you cannot make the meeting, please see Mr. Cheney at some point for more information. You will not need your instrument. Attention grade 8 students, please check your Hiller's email and sign up for Live Club, L-I-V-E. Applications are due today. See Ms. McDonough with any questions. There will be an informational meeting for 8th grade girls interested in trying out for the 8th grade team today at 2 o'clock in Ms. Willinger's room. That's for grade 8 basketball. The meeting will last for 15 minutes. If you cannot attend the meeting, please see Mrs. Willinger next week for more information. There will also be an informational meeting next Friday, November 13th at 7 a.m. in the lecture hall for anyone interested in trying out for grade 8 boys basketball. And now for birthdays. No birthdays today, however, tomorrow we have two birthdays, Delaney Augsburg and Owen Keefe. And now, back to you, Bodie. Thank you. Next up, are you a mad scientist? If so, tune in to this segment of What Should I Do? Today we hear about the Science Fair Club. Hi, my name is Mrs. Gershenbaum. Um, I'm here to talk about Science Fair Club every Thursday at 2 p.m. and 2.47. So if you like designing experiments, you like going to... WPI and other colleges for the district and state science fair. Please come on down and see me. Thank you for the info, Ms. Christian Bob. Now we have our regular feature, question of the day. Today we ask, what were you for Halloween? Snow White. Dragon. We were nerds for Halloween. Power Rangers. A cat. A chicken nugget. For Halloween, I was an army man. Yeah. I was Cinderella. I was a Care Bear. <laughs> awesome. Keep an eye out for our roving cameras, and you can be on our next question of the day. And now for another favorite fun fact of Friday. Miss Rockwood is out today, so we have a substitute. Welcome to Fun Fact Friday. My name is Skylar Gooley. Did you know if NASA sent birds into space, they would soon die? They need gravity to swallow. That's disgusting. Here's a fun fact. Boys can read smaller print than girls. Oh, you think so? Well, girls can hear better than boys. Thanks for watching Fun Fact Friday. Well, that was great. Next up, we have a special announcement concerning the upcoming middle school Poets in Residence. We're here to proclaim the school year as the year of poetry at Hopkinton Middle School. Cheryl Peralt uh, will join us as our very own resident poet this year throughout the year and she's going to share all sorts of really terrific poetry activities with us. Cheryl is a Hopkinton resident whose passion is poetry. In addition to presenting workshops on poetry for many different types of groups, she writes poems for sharing aloud at open mic sessions, and she helps others listen to their inner voices through reading and writing poetry. You will also find her on HCAM TV as the host of the program Meet Your Neighbor. We hope that all of you are going to take advantage of her special relationship with HMS this year by attending the activities that she'll be involved with over here throughout the year. Cheryl, it is my pleasure to officially name you Hopkinton Middle School's Poet in Residence for the 2015-2016 school year. Please accept this certificate. It's truly an honor to have someone as accomplished as yourself to share with our students and our staff. Thank you, Cheryl. I am honored uh, to have this position and to be a part of Hopkinton Middle School as resident poet. And I am, believe that poetry is for all people. And that's part of my work in community in bringing poetry and opportunities to read poems and make poems and talk about the stories related to them and how that connects us all. So this year, be on the lookout for school-wide poetry activities and other special poetry events occurring in and outside the school day. We'll share more specific information with you over time, but we'd like to note that our first event is coming up very soon. Uh, there's a poetry workshop on Tuesday, November 17th from 2 to 3.30 right here in the library. The theme will be autumn. 
All students in grades 6 through 8 are invited to this special event, and we hope to see you there. I'm here to share the good news also of our first Hopkinton anthology of poetry. I'd like to invite everyone to come and join our own Diane Norby, who will be one of the 36 contributors uh, who will be sharing poems about Hopkinton, what people over time love about the town, feel connected to it. We have students from Elmwood uh, as young as eight years old and resident, our oldest resident in town, Sterling Hager, who is 103 at this time, who has a poem, and many interesting people with many interesting stories, some writing poems for the first time, some published professors of poetry as well. So it's uh, a great event coming up, and I want to invite everyone to come and join the celebration. Moving on, we are pleased to announce our latest winner for Have You Seen This segment. Congratulations to Jonathan Hood, who has correctly discovered its location in the 7th Science Grade Hall. Good job, Jonathan, and stop into the HMS TV room after school on Wednesday for your prize. And for everyone else's, here's today's Have You Seen This? Do you know where this is? Send an email to mstv at hillers.org, and you might be our next winner. Okay, that's a wrap for this edition of HMS Today. On behalf of everyone else on HMS TV, thanks for watching. I'm Bowdoin Lucier, and study hard.